Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Cole Zarek. Welcome to the channel. And today we're going to be doing a tutorial of the Ultra Beat plugin in Logic Pro X. I'm going to go over how to program a drum kit of your own using your own samples or some of the samples that already exist within your Logic Pro library of sounds and a few other details, key details. This is episode one. So let's jump right into it. All right. First things first, software instrument. We're going to make one. We're going to go into an electronic drum kit. I like to go to the drum machine, Boutique 78. This is just my, how I like to get started, where I feel the most comfortable. Because it's kind of like Boutique 78 is like the most basic sounds uh, to start from. It's not going to apply any weird effects to your instruments. It's just stock. It's just not... Not great uh, sounds, just pretty basic sounds to work with. So as you can see, we have our drop down menu. We have our instrument here, but we can drop down a menu and check out all kick, snare, drum, hi-hat, etc. So what I want you guys to do is go onto your kick and then you can find out on your left side here, your info bar, make sure your info bar up here in the top left is clicked and you're going to see your Ultra Beat plugin right here. So let's go ahead and open that up. And wow, this is pretty intimidating if you are a beginner. But let's just start out with simply visualizing what's happening over here on our screen. Is This is a basically our keyboard. As you can tell, these are like the black keys. These are the white keys right here. So if you have a MIDI keyboard, or if you don't, uh, when you whenever you hit it, you'll see whatever is being clicked. Like your snare, I'm hitting my snare, and it's clicking it. All right, so basically, if you want to change the sample being played when you're hitting it, you can go in here to your bottom left. This is the most important thing to learn, I, I believe, because this lets you go on the internet or go to a site that sells either drum kit samples or what I did is just downloading drum kit samples finding a kit that I enjoyed uh, the sounds of and pulling from that kit so to change the sound of the snare say you want to just I want to pick a kick drum a snare and a hi-hat that fits the mood of the song that I'm working on right now so Go to your snare, select it, and we're going to click this area right here, and we're going to load a sample. As you can see, this GB Tasty, that is the sound that it's pulling from, and that's that's what's being played when you when you click the button. So let's load up a sample. Um, you can choose from any one of these Ultra Beat samples. Um, you you kind of have to go in and hunt for them, and you could play any one of these. These are all within your Logic sound library that you've downloaded, a part of the a part of the the actual software. So, what I like to do though is, if I've downloaded a kit, and I just go to my downloads, and I can go to the snare, and I can choose a snare from a kit that I downloaded from the internet. So. If you are curious how to get a kit like that, just Google free drum kits, type in your favorite producer, or type in like your favorite artist, like type in free Joey Badass drum kit, uh, free Logic drum kit, free, right here I have a Ninth Wonder drum kit that I use a lot because it has a ton of great snares to choose from. So that's where I get my drums and I could choose, I can hit play, and so whenever I hit the the bars on my actual laptop, I can cycle through all the snares and just keep listening until I find one that I enjoy. I like that one. That one sounds like, uh, what song? It's Logic's second album. Uh, there's a There's a song on there, I forget what it's called, but it has the snare on it. Anyways, so we can program a snare, we can go in and find a kick, 
and and then find a hi hat and then we're good to go. So once you basically program all the components that you want to be a part of the drum kit that you're using for your song, then how do you further refine those components? So first things first is you can right here, we just have our volume. We can adjust the pitch over here. Um, if we, if the snare is something that like lasts a long time, this is pretty brief. It's just like a snap. But if the snare, like this one, this one is like a second and a half. It, it's, it takes a long time for the sound to stop. So you can actually edit it to basically cut off with this right here. You can see where I'm bringing it closer. It's cutting off the entire sample and then I'm, it's playing the whole sample once I'm dragging it out. You can even mess with the the nuance of having it just tweaking this and seeing how it changes the sample. It's just another dimension of editing. Um, another very useful thing is you can equalize it. So if I wanted to boost some of the mid frequencies and have it a more bassy, like beefy snare, then I can do that. Or if I want to have more of the high frequencies stand out, or I can have the high frequencies over here or I can create a new one and I can cut the low frequencies at the same time. That's pretty ugly, but all these things you have the ability to manipulate. So real quick, let me show you guys a trick. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna load up a crash. Let me go into my drum kits, find a crash, a cymbal, crash. All right, anything. So we have a crash, right? So if you go down here to our sample and hit this button, it's going to reverse it. So say you um, are going trying to transition. This is a nice way to create a transition effect between like say a verse and a chorus. Um, it's a great way to increase the momentum of the song by reverse crashing, um, putting that on the tail end of a bar, of the last bar of your verse and transitioning. You can even reverse crash into a crash, um, creating more of a crescendo, like a build-up effect. And um, that's exactly the type of vibe that you might want when going into your chorus. So 
So another important thing to note is let me record something really quick so you can visualize this next point that I want to make. All right, so we have just a basic little drum beat. Let's loop it. So I can also manipulate the elements on each one of these channels. So you can see I used a kick, I used a snare, and I used a hi-hat. So the only three that you see is the kick. You can see, ignore this, this is all of them. So this top channel right here is gonna showcase the sound of anything. So you can play anything and it's going to show up on the top one. But I want you to pay attention to the kick. It's the only one showing any sound. The snare, same deal. And the hi-hat. So if I wanna pan the hi-hat to the right, it's gonna be on the right side or the left. If I want the hi-hat to have some reverb, then I can throw on a reverb and it'll only affect the hi-hat. So no reverb on the snare, but reverb on the hi-hat. This is incredibly useful if you want to compress the kick. So if you can tell this kick is not hitting very hard, um, it's not, uh, as prominent as you would want, you can throw a compressor on just the kick to give it that extra aggressive spike in the beat that you're making. This is a great way to organize your beat. Just type in that this is your drum kit and easily keep track of, you could either, you can even split these up um, so that the kick is on its own, the snare is on its own, and the hi-hat's on its own. Um, the, the fact that I just recorded this by itself um, is the reason why it's on a singular track. If you did want to split it up, I usually do it manually. So I'll go in here and I'll delete everything but the hi-hats. Go in here, delete everything but the snares. And this is honestly just a, a way to visualize it a little bit easier and easily keep track of of your beat so. so ultra beat is incredibly useful now you have a way better sense of how to use the drums that you want to use and search for drums that you like popular drums not just drums that are inside uh, the logic library but hunt for drums find a kit that you like and uh, make some music so this plugin and the strategy that I just showed you is something I use in like I don't know 90% of the songs that I make so you have the tools to get started so if you guys enjoyed if you guys learned anything leave a like subscribe hit the bell icon for any notification so you don't miss a video um, I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video peace